Hi, my name is Marnes. I'm from the Free State and the town I'm living in is Virginia. And yeah, that's where I'm from, from the Free State. Oh, I don't, don't think we have enough time. But um, I just knew that there were problems in my life and things that were not, not in space and not in place. And the thing is, I had dreams lost uh, in 2017 about certain things and the Lord was showing me certain things in my family bloodlines and things like that as well but not specific things but he, he showed me that there, there's definitely f uh, curses in my bloodlines and things and, and I will uh, liken uh, is this true is it really there or I, I, I we're not sure but and then I've asked people in my family do they know things about curses and the, do that my family bel belong to cults and things like that and they told me yes my f f uh, my first two grand grand great great grand grandfathers that came from Scotland and England they were into Freemasonry and um, yeah and that's very disturbing that were very disturbing to me and I saw, saw such certain things happening in our family uh, sicknesses lost of of property and things like that divorces all of a sudden appearing was starting to happen and then when I arrived here today um, I sat down and I listened to to Ntate and he just the, the first time he starts speaking to me he said to me there's uh, family curses and they're clashing inside of you and they're from both sides of my family and they're clashing yeah so yeah that were very very interesting and mm, uh, the thing is, you get. Uh, I'm 44 years old now. At, at one stage, I was just tired of things not happening. You you get into, you will start a new business, but just when you start this business, it will just end, and you you don't understand why it's ending, why this is happening. You, and and another thing is, I can feel inside of me. It's like an there's things pushing me around and disturbing me and I'm, I'm not feeling in space and not in place and everything is happening for other people but I'm struggling why am I struggling what's going on and 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 at one stage you just get tired you just inside inside of me I was just tired 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 and yeah oh he's a very very friendly guy and I appreciate that a lot and I'm feeling very comfortable with him and 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 he's very soft spoken you can see the spirit and jesus working there uh, in him and and that's the first thing that i really appreciate of today uh, and he is very friendly and humble and things like that but uh, the experience talking to him and the things that he said to me uh, i'm so glad that that god used him and that he's living for jesus and for god to help people and yeah it's it's just it's a very nice experience really it's very very nice and the thing is you know our white people we're scared of 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 our past and where we're coming from and things and and we still got this thing as why do you want to tend a, a black church and things like that but if you really want to be free and you really want to be with god and if you want to really serve god uh, i know that jesus is colorblind and i appreciate what he's done for me today through through Ntate, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very strange. I'm, I'm still trying to make sense of it, but it's like um, I, I don't know. I can't really tell because I really don't know. Because some, some people just fall over most things and things happen. But uh, it, it felt to me like there's a cut off. There were cut off time, and and it, and and it, and it, and behind my eyelids, it felt like there's like in my eyes start to to I don't know to rattle or something <laughs> I, I, I don't have a description for that but yeah it's very strange but uh, yeah and he touched my eyes and things like that and and and, and all of a sudden he, yeah and he, I, I don't know and yeah it's it I don't know what to say it's I, I felt him touching me but um, but I'm, I'm fine yeah yeah some for, so other people is just maybe bigger or I don't know but I'm fine <laughs> I'm free but it were, it were very it's not thing that you're used to but it's yeah I just want to quickly explain something. Is I, I I think it's last year November I saw the program on on TV, and I looked at the service here and things like that. And and uh, the beginning of this year I think it's the beginning of January I saw the program uh, another uh, service on or, or 
thing on TV or whatever, and I saw at the bottom that there's this week, and and I and I, I just I, I'm looking at it, but then something starts to push me, to push me, to push me, and I were I were unsure to come here, but then the 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 the, the spirit pushed me, and there's a reason for me to come here today, and. And I think it's uh, it's an appointed time with with God. God appointed this 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 moment, and I appreciate it a lot. And um, the experience it's very nice. Um, and I think I think we must stop. I think we must all get color blind, but we must get color blind for Jesus as well. You know, thanks a lot, and uh, all the glory to Jesus really. And Thanks for pushing me to come here. Thanks for the appointment. And yeah, um, yeah. For everybody out there, don't be scared of color. Jesus is colorblind. But but come and be free. Come and be free. And don't just accept anything from anybody. But live for Jesus. Love Jesus. Amen.